Hello guys and welcome back to another Path of Exile series. Um, this time we're just going to keep moving on with where we left out last time at the marketplace um, where we got our waypoint and before we get into the video I'll just quickly let you know a few things that I have done when, um, off, when I, I did off video. So the first thing I did was to buy those two skill gems. Um, the first thing is faster casting which we're going to be replacing it with the add light thing that we did before so I'm just going to leave that to the side in case we need it in the future and the other one was coal to fire because that's what, what we're going to be using eventually to convert all of our coal damage from frostbolt into fire damage um, so just keep that to the side and leveling it up um, alongside with everything else so I got these two skill gems from act 2 um, and talking to Yina I think that's what her name was was called so if you open the map she was sort of on the left of the stash one of the three event um one of the three npc over there and just get it from her second tap and the other thing i did was to get this wand which i just bought it off from clarissa over here for a an augment augmentation op which is like nothing pretty much as one of these guys which you should have by now so yeah just bought it and it's way better than the, this one that we have over here I'm keeping that to the side in case we replace this in the future so I can equip it instead of this one this one is pretty bad but because we need the link that's why I'm keeping it um, on the side one more thing you, that you might have noticed by now is this guy over here which is a frozen 12 cobalt jewel which is what we are going to equip in here and what does jewel does it will so the eight percent increase projectile damage um is a bit more damage but the main thing while we're getting these jewels is for the second property in there where say frostbolt fire two additional projectiles so what it does is right now we're only firing one for uh, one frostbolt when we put this on it's gonna have two more so we're gonna put it right there just make sure you put it right there and has to have 40 intelligence in the radius so if you put it right here you add that one two three and four so it's, it has a bit more than 40 um, so that will get activated you don't have to allocate a point to be able to get this as long as within the radius there's 40 intelligence that will get activated so it's going to give us two more additional projectiles and make it three and that's going to make our lives a lot easier so i got this one from poe trade.com um, I think I'll make another video and I'll link it, that video to this video in case you're interested that is where we buy the majority of our stuff from we don't have an auction house in Path of Exiles yet so that's where everyone goes to to buy this stuff so I'll make, I'll make, I'll make sure to make a video on that for you guys to follow in the future okay so now let's get back to where we were before the marketplace and the reason why we picked up the waypoint before was to because from here we have two places to go to the first thing is our trials so this is where we go to the next one of the side zones to do our trials and also we need to go back to the waypoint to go to the next zone to do our quest that's why that waypoint is quite important if you don't want to backtrack yourself okay so we're here just put on the heralds again and let's get moving So we have ourselves a horrendous over here and you notice that we cast a bit faster than before that's because we replace our we replace our gem from the add lightning to the fast casting gem which will help with a lot with our casting speed it just makes things a bit smoother than before that's all This horrendous contact for to kill, so I'm not gonna bother killing it. So let's go up. So that's the zone that you want to go into. Most of the time, it's to the north of our waypoint, so it's sort of here, the catacomb. If it's not there, then just go alongside this area to the left or to the right, and eventually you should be able to come across this one. So make sure you go in here first before you move on to the next zone, because there's a trial in here that you want to do. Yep, so there you go, as you can see, 
that's the trial that tells us there's a trial in here that we need to do as always in green so let's try to find our trial shall we I don't really have much um, recollection of where the trial is or oh so right there I guess just run to one side keep to one side and just run that way like we always do so let's get out so for this one what you're gonna get is these scrolling wheels and as always just don't run along them so do what I'm doing right here so you don't kill yourself yep as you can see right there don't <laughs> and yep um yeah you know, I sacrificed myself to give you guys an example of what not to do. <laughs> totally not because... Totally intentional, okay? Totally intentional. Okay, let's not do that again. And there you go. So, that's how you get through it. Just be careful. That's all I have to do. So we're going to get our portal scroll and get back home. And this is where the waypoint comes into place. Um, come into play sorry so get back home get a waypoint and we move on to the next zone so we don't have to run back in that zone there we go. okay now to get to the next zone usually it's um, on the top side as well so we'll try our luck see whether we can get straight there without having much difficulties that's another so we that one's ran now so we're gonna use this 32 one talisman I actually didn't play Padre Excel when talisman they came out so I'm not quite sure um, what that's gonna be but we'll learn and I'll let you know so that's the bridge And part of the exiles, you're gonna be, you might be surprised, but it will get easier as you level up and get all your stuff together. Um, it's actually harder when you first started out, but once you get all the requirements, all the stuff required for your characters, it will get easier. Um, it will only get really hard when you do the really late game content, but in the middle, when you transition from early to mid and from mid to late, that it's very easy. Um, you would you shouldn't die too much. As long as you get your gear up to date, that's all. <laughs> the res resistance, as I mentioned before, is really important. Okay, so in here we don't really have anything that we need to pick up. And that one, that one, done. There you go. And the entrance to the next one is right here, the battlefront. All right. So when we get in here, there's a few things we need to do. The first one, right, I'll, I'll just do it, I'll show you what you need. So right here, what you should always do is to just click on S, sorry, click S, and then what it pops up is this one, it just give you your friends, your geared party, what you want to do is to go to this public parties tab over here and search for Solaris, and there's one person right there. And it, let's just check to see whether he give us anything and and it doesn't look like he gives anything <laughs> unfortunately doesn't seem like that's the case okay so sorry for that what you want to do is to look for Solaris like what I did before and I had no luck over here so this guy does, is not really helpful, um, it seems. What 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 you would do is you search for Solaris, and if you get lucky, you'll be able to find someone that actually give us the waypoint to Solaris, which is a side area over to the side, um, and so you wouldn't have to run that. That's what I do most of the time, but today because firstly because of the time zone uh, where I live in um, there's not a lot of people playing at the moment so I don't really have much luck in finding someone with that 
but if you're in America, you should be able to find one pretty easily if you play in the peak hour. So make sure you just go there, press S, and search for Solaris. If you find someone, jump in their party, and just take their waypoint to Solaris. And make sure you drop, um, say thank you to the guy if they're willing to do that, because they're willing to do that for us from free of charge. So just say thanks to them, you know, normal courtesy. Be nice to everyone, and keep the community going. There you go. So, sorry, I forgot to tell you. So this is where you came from. Move sort of to the left when you get to one of those um, that looks like this on the map. Just keep going to the left, all the way to the left, and go up. You'll see that um, staircase right there. Go up. There's a boss. Uh, not really a boss, just you know a unique uh, monster. Kill him, and he next to him there'll be a chest. This one. Make sure you click on it and pick up this ribbon spool over here, and go to the right. Take your waypoint because you need to go back here for the Solaris one because we didn't get no one help us on that one <laughs> sad face so make sure you craft that waypoint so now we're gonna go to the docks so this zone is um, quite confusing sort of not really it's just a straight line but it does break off into different uh, branches so if sometime we're lucky we'll be able to find what we want to find which is another quest item in here if we're not lucky then it, it might take a bit of time but it shouldn't be too bad You can see right there I was my my internet's a bit lagging so and that's the guy you need to kill because he's who keeps summoning this ad if you don't kill him he'll just keep doing that. And he's down as you can see all oh, these guys gone. That's the Torment League Stone, Colossal Life Flask, that's the next tier. Pretty sure. Yep, so that's the next tier. Pick up all the stuff that we need. And as you can see right here, um, our lightning resistance is not maxed out yet, so just gotta be careful with any lightning mobs that we see along the side when we move. Just keep it now, bro, that's all. And this is a talisman, okay? So looks like all it does just these mobs and they dropped this talisman which is the amulet. Yep. And they give um special or you know just special amulets pretty much so we got unlucky this time we got to the waypoint um, so what you can do you can go to you can left click hold control and left click on the docks and it will give you a new instant where you can just click press on new and you've recessed your instance so to go through these things again and just have some obscure all the way on, on the way there, not all the way, sorry. So, but because right here we're pretty the closest area, and it's. There you go, that's. Because we were pretty close right there, that's why I didn't bother um, resetting the zone, and that's what we want. Well, that's what we're looking for. Just look for the exclamation mark on the screen, and we want to pick it up when we see these mobs with the cage back like that. Click on it, and want to pick it up that one, the thermatic so far. And we're done. So we'll have nothing else to do in here, just get back home. And again, let's do a quick check on the Solaris waypoint to see whether anyone's giving us the waypoint for free, otherwise we have to run there. So there's no, no luck this time. So it looks like we have to run there, unfortunately. Okay, before we do that, let's What's sell up? all the stuff in our inventory. So that is the bridge. Um, ring and I, I'm pretty sure I haven't explained this to you guys but what this bridge ring does is a property are double Y in a bridge so when you, when you activate a bridge whatever stats on your ring which is a bridge ring will get doubled 
So say breaking is at one to two physical attack damage. Um, normally we add just one or two, but when you're in a bridge, we'll add two to four, so double that amount. Whereas normal ring would just say normal. <laughs> There's no difference in that. Okay, so let's save that. And let's just do. Okay, no, can't do that. And let's save one, those three to get. Stay out of the shadows. That. Keep this up here. That's three. Level 30 plus right now with 29, so we're very close. That's why I did that. Otherwise, you shouldn't do it yet because then you will have no nothing to wear pretty much. And that's pretty good. It gives some cast speed, which we need. But if we put it on, we don't have enough decks for our chest. So, what I'll do, I'll skip to the side like that. And as you can see right there, that's a talisman tier 2. So there'll be quite a lot of different types of these one and there'll be sometimes we'll see something that looks sort of like a shrine and you get two five of the same tier you'll be able to upgrade it to the next tier um, I'll try to show you guys if we get to that later in this series so again just checking our big stones here pick out the one the low one and put in I one there. Yep. Okay. One last time. Let's try our luck. Nothing. Sad face. So now that's why we need to pick it up the waypoint for Battlefront before. Okay. So allocate one point in there. Now instead of moving that way, we want to go to the side. That's another talisman. Of talisman, whatever you want to call it. So you want to go to this side, the right hand side, where it's, where the docks is up there. Just one waypoint goes straight up. For this one, you want to move so to the right, sort of like what I'm doing here. And go up the stairs. And when you see those ribbons like here, you know that you're in the right area. Going straight up. This is the level 27, and we are 29, so we are a bit over level. That's why it's always good to um, to be able to skip the next zone if someone can give it to us. But we have no luck this time, so we've got to run through it anyway. Okay, this guy is pretty dangerous. So make sure we don't get ourselves queued. That's not a talisman. Ah, oh, so they do fire damage. That's why they do so much damage to us. Okay, in here, we gotta go through level 1, and then we gotta go through level 2 to get to our destination. That is why it's so annoying. And that's why it's always great to be able to just skip it, but oh, we have not having much luck this time. And that is what we use our Parentus coins for. For, to talk to Cardio Brandis and he will give us a, an offer. So that looks pretty good. Just go back home, get our Brandis coins. Let's hope that we have just enough for his offer. So this Brandis coin that we've been saving into now, take it out, go back there, and he will will trade that with him. So he will buy 26 with 50. Except. Let's see what we get from this jewels. It's alright. It's not good. Not the best. <laughs> it's just alright ish. Okay, so let's try to go through this zone as fast as possible. That's another talisman. Let's get that and keep moving on. So this zone just wanna go follow the red carpet below. That's a brandus. As soon as we get our next level, we should be um, the leveling should be a bit a lot smoother and easier. Let's get all these guys. Drop this one. A bit 
bit lacking at the moment. My apology for that. Too much clutter. Okay, so we'll throw that one. Just keep pulling on. Follow the red carpet wherever it leads you. That's another one. Nemesis. Lee. That's another talisman. We do get quite a lot of them. That's a um, chromatic item. So keep moving on. 27, 29. No need to kill these guys. And we'll go to level 2. I really like the music in this area actually. I never heard, I rarely put music on for the part of Excel apart from this series. That is the first time I hear it. <laughs> Alright, so let's just, you know what, just put on whatever. Um, and might as well learn it. So Ascent League, I know you already. Let's put in Anarchy. So it says right there next to our container, Raw Exile. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, why not? YOLO. Hey, that's another one. It dropped a lot. Hey, let's kill these guys. Hopefully, it drops something good for us. Okay. So let me just go home, sort out my stuff, and I'll be right back. Still breathing, eh? Still pretty, eh? And we're back, guys. Okay, so there's a few things that you should note in here. That one, so you can see six sockets, even though it's not linked together. It's you can sell it to the vendor to get. Um, seven jeweler ops, which is really useful. Um, so keep that in mind whenever you see six sockets, make sure you pick it up and sell it to the vendor. Six links is very rare, and make sure you don't sell a six link to the vendor. Six sockets, you can sell six links, six links, don't sell them, okay? <laughs> they are guaranteed to worth some value to someone. Regardless of what it is, someone will buy it. Okay, let's hope that we're going in the right direction. Pick up those two, let's get another one. That is what's been pushing us. And here we are. Let's pick up the waypoint. Just one quick tip. There you go. Here we go. <laughs> and as you can see, we use that one right there. I forget what it's called to get to her. And now she's let us pick one of these amulets. And we are needing the dexterity. That's why we're going to pick that one. Believe me. Is he's, she's gonna give us the inferno talk and she picked she used the other one as well Goodbye. so that's why you need both of them and now let's go home and that's where I'm gonna end the video today guys hopefully you enjoy this session as much as the other ones um, if you're new to this series hit that subscribe button for new videos in the future so make sure you check out the other videos too if you like this video make sure to hit that like button um, if there's anything that you want to ask just feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll, I'll answer all the questions that all the comments actually so that's it for today guys i'll see you next time